slightly disconcerting the way it wobbles. Though, I, though it's obviously wobbling to keep it still. It's <laughs> live, So why are you here? Why at the Cup of Conference, please? It's a great place to be to talk about potatoes. Um, lots of new ideas, lots of discussion. People with um, different opinions who aren't afraid to have different opinions. Um, and it's the place that I've been coming back for the past seven years um, since I started out as a PhD student funded by Cupgro as an organisation. So. And so we just had a couple of hours of really interesting sessions with some one-on-one uh, -on -one lectures and then a group discussion with, uh, with these gentlemen. What were your highlights from that? Uh, like the um, phenotyping work that Sebastian does is super exciting just the way that you can capture um, all of that information from um, those images, from those plants, the thinking about imaging root systems, and then uh, thinking, okay, so he's asking questions about nematodes, what other questions could we ask about um, potato root structure, how potatoes form, like how um, tubers form, and that, how does that vary between varieties, and thinking about capturing that on not just five varieties, which I could do in a trial in the field, but on 500 varieties. Um, that, that's probably not what I'll be doing next year, but it's really exciting that that's a possibility. And, and the, this technology that has been talked about, because there's the likes of AI being deployed now to count uh, the, the likes of nematodes. Can you, to me, it feels like a battle. It feels like a war. Are, are we winning this this war against this this ongoing issue? There are advances being made, um, but there are always going to be challenges in agriculture. Um, once um, we like solve the problem of nematodes, there'll be another pest to fight, yeah, well um, and that it's continuing. And in one sense, that's a little bit depressing, knowing that it's never going to be okay. We've reached this perfect stage of. Um, potato production but also it's exciting and this is what drives innovation the fact that we've got challenges to overcome um, and it's about making sure that we've got um, the funding in place to help us um, address these challenges um, but like the cover crop thing that um, the forum was talking about we don't know enough about the different varieties of cover crops and how they interact with all sorts of different pests so we need to keep funding that work and making sure that we are arming farmers with enough knowledge to be able to, um, to solve the problems that they are facing daily. And, and there's a talk about uh, livestock. I wasn't aware of some of the issues around sheep, having sheep on, on, the, on, on your land. I mean, again, that's why we need someone like, like yourself coming into the sector to further this, uh, this, this, this R&D. So are you positive about the sector? Is this why you're aligned to the sector? Um, I love potatoes because they are great food to eat. Um, <laughs> I had the chance to do a PhD on potatoes or a PhD on salads, and I was like, you can live off potatoes, you can't live off salads. Salad, yeah. um, and I think there is there is hope, but there's also a lot of frustration, um, particularly with working out how best to bring people together to solve the problems that we've got. Um, and there are lots of people with lots of great ideas out there, but it's not always the joined up um, connection of having had the chance to bump into someone and make that connection. Yeah. And so, so sometimes it is incredibly frustrating. Yeah. Um, and, and just to give you a bit of a, a square bear uh, question, there's a lot of talk about um, protected cropping, about vertical farming, mm -hmm. and how they're going to move away from salads, and they're going to start growing potatoes, and mm -hmm. cereals, and rice, and tropical fruit. Could you, with, with what you know about potatoes, can you see potatoes being grown on a, on a large scale, in a closed environment, such as vertical farming? Yes and no. Maybe for mm -hmm. seed, um, because my microtubers are so much smaller. Yeah, well um, but just thinking about um, the size of a potato, that the, the part of the reason we can get decent sized potatoes for bakers is that they're supported by the soil. Yeah. Um, Solons just aren't that strong. Yeah, yeah. So they'd just be falling off. Um, at yeah, when, well done. So I think more like, uh, yeah, in seed production, yes, but in ware crops, I doubt it. Yeah. And Sarah, why should we encourage people to come into this sector? Um, do you eat? <laughs> Why would you not want to oh, the do best research the year. <laughs> on something that you do that touches your life and every single person's life on the planet on a thrice daily basis, assuming that they're not in desperate poverty? Excellent, Sarah. You're brilliant. Well done. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. No worries.